This is a great question. There's no glue, screws, or nails used when assembling a barrel. It all has to do with the shape of the wood pieces, which are called staves. Once they are perfectly aligned, the barrel goes through a steamer. After the wood is softened a little, the staves are pulled together and locked into place with metal hoops. Now they're ready to be charred. Our barrels are really special because every barrel we use is toasted first. Most bourbons are charred only. Toasting is a slow process that really allows for caramel notes to come out in the bourbon. After about 20 minutes of toasting, they move to the charring station. Another really unique thing about our barrel is that we only use wood burning fires. Most other bourbons use gas burning fires. Imagine the difference between a charcoal or wood barbecue and a gas barbecue. There's gonna be a lot more flavor. They call the char inside of a barrel alligator char because it resembles the skin of an alligator. From here, they are shipped off to the distillery to be filled with bourbon and not to be seen for years. Cheers. It's extremely important to taste the whiskey throughout its lifetime. We taste specific barrels within specific batches to better understand how it's evolving based on how hot a summer is or how cold a winter is or even where it's located in the warehouse can have a huge impact on, on the, the flavor, flavor profile. profile. Okay, so I want to clear up a couple things from the last video based on a lot of the comments I read. One, no, we are not throwing the bourbon away. Two, no, this is not a charcoal filter. After years of the bourbon aging in the barrel, a lot of the charred pieces from inside of the barrel come out when dumping it. The bourbon is passing through a filter that catches all these charred pieces. After it's filtered, it goes to the processing tanks, which brings it to proof. From there, it goes into the bottle. Once the barrel is matured, it's dumped. At Rabbit Hole, we only dump 15 barrels at a time. True small batch. The filter catches all the charcoal pieces that fall out of the barrel, and then the bourbon makes its way to the tank room. At cash strength, our bourbon is anywhere between 100 to 115 proof. The tank room is where we bring the alcohol content down. First, the bourbon goes into the processing tank, and there's an initial water cut there. Then it moves to the bottling tanks where the last cut is made, and the bourbon is brought to 95 proof. This machine is absolutely insane. First, we load the empty bottles onto it. The first step is to clean the inside of the bottle with pressurized air. Immediately after that, it fills the bottles with bourbon and corks it. Even though most of the machine is enclosed in glass to ensure cleanliness, we want to make sure that it gets filled and capped as soon as possible. From there, the labels get applied. The labels come printed in rolls so that we can just place them into this machine. This makes switching different SKUs very easy. The bottle seal gets placed on the cork and heat is applied to shrink wrap it on. Lastly, neck tags are hand applied prior to going into the box. From here, it gets shipped out so that people all over the country can enjoy a nice glass of bourbon.